Hello everyone, today we will see how to configure Nudge 1.x with Eclipse Luna. So first of all we need three plugins. These are Subclips, IVYDE and Maven M2E and you can have these from uh, the Eclipse Marketplace. Simply drag them to your uh, Eclipse works, uh, workspace and just launch them so here i have already installed them so i won't be installing them again similarly now apache ivyde plugin can be installed in the eclipse workspace and uh, the maven m2e plugin can also be installed similarly Since I've already installed them, so I won't be installing them again. Subclips, as you know, it was needed to check out source code of Nudge 1.x uh, from the uh, respective site. So here we'll go to File, New, sorry, File, New, Project, uh, SVN, Check out projects from SVN. Next, then we'll choose an existing repository location if it already exists or we'll create a new repository lo location say since many of you must be installing it for the first time so you won't have an existing repository location so next here we'll mention the url from where the nudge source code has to be downloaded so when we type in not source code from uh, in the Google here on clicking on the first link we'll uh, go to this site and from here we'll copy this link which uh, the one I have selected and I'll paste it here now next next So simply finish Java project, select Java project here, then next give any name to your project, say I'll give Nudge 1.9, next and simply finish. it has been checked out now next step right click on the just checked out project go to properties java build path source remove this nudge 1.9 slash source now add folder under source first of all check bin java test and test resources now next step is a little bit complex again click on add folder go under plugins package and we have many sub packages now under each sub package we have source so now our next step is to check out java as well as test under the source of each sub package If we don't have test, just don't check it simply.
sometimes you don't have any sub package that is any source like library nico html so we'll simply skip it Finally, we are done with checking out all the Java and tests of each sub package under the plugins package. Now go to libraries tab, click on add class folder and under our project that is nudge 1.9. Check the conf. Okay. Now next step is add jars. Now the jars are to be added from source plugin URL filter automation under this and parse SWF. First of all parse SWF under parse S SWF library and under this java swf.jar okay then add another jar again notch 1.9 the name of our project source plugin and url filter automation since i don't have library and jar here so i'll download it first and then copy it to my project in workspace you'll have to make library folder on your own and in that you'll put this jar okay now we'll refresh our project and then go to properties java build path add jars okay go to order and export tab and here find 
nuts conf and uh, move it to top this is important to have uh, nuts slash conf at the top after this click uh, ok now after the IVYDE has resolved all its dependencies now we'll configure our IVY.XML so we'll go to our workspace nudge 1.9 IVY and here you can copy the IVY.XML file directly given in the link below this video because the current version of nudge uh, that is available on SVNS nudge 1.11 has some new Hadoop dependencies which are not compatible with Windows 8 so you can download this uh, old version of IVY.XML from the link given below this video now after you have downloaded the IVY.XML file provided in the link below now is the time to build the project but before building we need to have uh, we need to configure actually uh, put put some additional data into conf and in that find nuts site.xml.template and you can download the data to be entered in nuts site.xml.template from again from the link given below the video once you have downloaded both of these now you are ready to build the project eclipse workspace and here under your project nudge 1.9 go to build.xml right click run as and build this will take some time so you need to have some patience so the build is successful remember for your process uh, for your nudge to run the build should be successful and total time here is less because it's already cached in my clips so if you are running it for the first time it will take some time now finally we can test our nudge project so for this here on the run icon here as you can see the down arrow click on it run configurations here define a new project under java application new and here you can name it say so I'll name it injecting operation fine and project is nudge 1.9 here and main class you can search for it this is injector class in org.apache.nudge.crawl so select it now apply it arguments in arguments here we'll give the name of our the database where our the URL is to be injected so let's name it database data slash crawl db and here you will give the name of your c directory where you have provided after you have 
my seed directory is urls slash that's it it will find the dot text file in this and here the vm arguments so vm arguments to be given are hyphen d hadoop dot log dot dir equal to logs space hyphen d hadoop dot log dot file equal to hadoop dot log it is basically for the log files so here we'll apply it and for the time being close it because first we have to define our urls directory to i've already defined in this case i'll first show you so here it is urls and here i have formed a text file seeds.txt and herein i have given a url http uh, the full url you can't skip any part of it www.thapa.edu so uh, finally we are ready to run so now click on run configurations our project name was injecting operation here we'll run it now simply as you can see our operation has been successful after this we can have generate fetch parse update then again the next iteration generate fetch parse update operations as many times as we want to now i'll also show you the directory where it has been formed see our directory name was data and here it has been formed crawl db okay so similarly another processes can also be run thank you for watching the video